Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's Saturday. And even though every day is like the other when you're retired, today I'm staying home and getting stuff done. Yes, I, I'm really messing with my to-do list today. It's going to need a serious update after today. Okay, yesterday was just ducky. Boy, I might, I might need to get myself a Jeep. It was so ducky. I made a mushroom duck. The top pops. Boop, boop. And while I had the yellow yarn out and the orange for the feet and the bill and the red, well, actually I used a different red yarn. This was red yarn from my scrap yarn bag. I had to pull out another red. To make a dress up duck. This is the one where the hat and the little bag come off so you can dress up your ducky. So I need to find the other three that I have finished and get pictures of all of them and get them in my Etsy shop because these cuties. I, I've sold one or two at craft shows but I think this is the kind of thing if I get that on Etsy That'll probably sell on Etsy. And and usually when I'm going for color choices, like I'll show my husband, I'll say, okay, for a yellow duck with an orange beak like that, what color flower should I put on? What color hat should I have it wear? And I picked out the red flower with the little yellow center. Oops, let's get the bag right. And the little red hat all by myself. Do I get a gold star? No. <laughs> and then, while I had the red out, I made a mini stingray. There goes another one. Okay, after the ducks and the stingray, well, that was yesterday. And once I finished with those projects, I had to move my scrap yarn bag from a two gallon bag down to a one gallon bag, and I am now down to 8.9 ounces from the original 16 ounces. That's progress. So then, this morning, well, last night I started, I finished this morning. I said I wanted to do like a whale of the day. Today's whale of the day is bright blue. So now I have four of them. I already got a picture of this one in the light box and got a picture with the other three and got the Etsy listing updated. See, I'm, I mean, I'm doing well today. I'm getting stuff done. <laughs> and then I came in and sat down to do computer work. Like I added links to the video I made yesterday. Okay, then they're done that. And then, fortified by this snack that Lori sent me, I went to work on the video for the Mystery Yarn Challenge Scrap Yarn Challenge for September. I went through and I've already entered pictures for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. There are three people who sent me a start picture, but not a finished picture. So I emailed them asking if they still want to participate, if they have a final picture for me. <laughs> I just got a Facebook notification that my daughter or someone has sent 12 pictures. So, you know, you know how much I appreciate you subscribers? I'm continuing to make this video, even though I know that there are pictures of my grandchildren waiting for me. Yeah, yeah, you better feel special. Okay, where was I? Okay, so, if you participated in the Mystery Yarn Challenge, Scrap Yarn Challenge, for September. 
I do have pictures, start and finish, from Alessandra, Bonnie, Julie, Laura, Linda, Denise, and myself. I did email Raina, Charlena, and Leticia. So I'm hoping to get that wrapped up in the next day or two, do the prize drawing, and get a prize out to the winner in the mail. Mr. Yarn Challenge, got that done. So, I am going to continue to work on my to-do list. Right now I have to go out to the kitchen and make some potato salad to go with our dinner today. But then I get to play with yarn some more. And I am just going to... Oh, I should search for ducks. According to my list, there's one more mushroom duck and three more dress-up ducks in a tote. So I need to find them, get them together, and get pictures. And if there's only one more mushroom duck, maybe I should make another mushroom duck so that I have three in the Etsy listing. It's just two ducks. That's, that's sort of wimpy. I only have three. I make up these rules for myself. There's no rhyme or reason. Just got to have three. Three to start. So, yeah, I had three whales before I put the listing back up. And I need to pick the next color of the day for a whale. I have two gray, one blue, and one pink. I think, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know that purple cone yarn? I should see how this works up as a whale. Yeah, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I'm putting them in a little pouch to take out to my chair. We're going to make a purple whale. So let it be written, so let it be done. Ten Commandments. Right? That's what, I think the Pharaoh said it? I think. Sometimes I get mixed up. Like, Billy Crystal was doing a Yul Brenner impression on Saturday Night Live, where he was all dressed up like the Pharaoh. He had bald wig on and all that. And he said, Moses and the Hebrewites think they have outsmarted me. Then we watched the Ten Commandments movie again. It's like, wait a minute. He never said that. So sometimes... The quotes that we have from movies are not correct. Okay. Why am I getting off on movie quotes instead of yarny stuff? I still have three works in progress that I'm chipping away at. Um, but I think that means I get to add another one. Because there's space on my to-do list for four. And I finished up the, the whale. The whale was number four on the list, and I finished him. So that means I get to start something new, right? I'm not going to start another kit. There's, there's a kit I'm just... I want to totally forget about the fact that I have the spinning wheel of names to pick out my next kit. I know which one I want to do. <sighs> do I stick to my rules, or do I say, I'm making the rules. I can break the rules if I want to. I was thinking that I needed to place some sort of order. I don't know if it would be Amazon or Timu. Timu, I'd probably get lower prices. Amazon would come quicker. Um, this the like a uh, nine or 10 millimeter eye that I use for the whales. All I have left are the two little packages that I got at Joann's. And each of those only has, I think, four sets of eyes. And I'm down to one set in one of the bags. So I only have five sets of safety eyes left in this size. Or so I thought. Last night, I used up the last tissue in the box of tissues I keep in this little cubby thing next to my chair. And took the box out to take that down for recycling, get a new box. 
And as I'm sitting there, you know, looking over at the cubby, without the box of tissues blocking my view of what was behind the tissues, I could see a whole box of nine or 10 millimeter safety eyes. I thought I had all of my safety eyes in the same spot, but apparently I didn't. You know, apparently I thought all, I had all my ducks in a row, but those little fluffy bottoms went running off in their own direction. Okay. I am going to go play with yarn. I'm wiggling the table again. Sorry about that. Can't touch the table when the phone is all balanced on the tripod. Silly table. Apparently this table isn't very um, stable. It's my smaller table. It's only four foot long and it will go up higher than other tables. I think there are three settings for the legs, but it's just the right size to set up here in the craft room as a temporary work table. I can put my laptop on, the tripod. Um, I can clear it off and use it to sort patterns. It just comes in handy to have it in here. But, you know, you just touch it and it wiggles and makes the phone wiggle. And, you know, you think there's an earthquake going on as I'm doing my video. I'm like, why? She's being awfully calm during an earthquake. Another rabbit trail, huh? Let's see. I have to figure out which yarn. You know, that bright green there, that's calling to me. I think that a bright green mini stingray would be fun. Pink stingray? I think I might have some pink stingrays already. Because I know I made one with the rose pink. But having rose pink and this pink and some gray, it seems like I should make something with those. Oh, I have a new mouse pattern. I could do a gray mouse with some pink for the ears. Yep. Sometimes it's fun just to look at a bag of yarn and let projects pop out at you. Oh, and I do need to get my Mystery Yarn Challenge yarn into a bag with the book that the pattern is in and get going on that. Looking around to see if I have any more project bags that I could toss it into. I may be starting more than one project today. And I'm thinking, okay, I want to make another mushroom duck, but I want to do it a nice, a lighter yellow. Not, not the bright yellow. More of a baby yellow. Um, creamy yellow. So... That's another thing on my list. My list keeps grow growing and growing. Just not enough time. So, bye-bye. It's probably the third time I've said this. I'm going to go play with yarn.